Okay, so today I am going to attempt to make fried chicken. before and I used corn a cornmeal uh, breading because I had heard that you're not supposed to use flour breading in air fryers well I know some people who do and but instead I saw this at the store and I'm gonna try this so um, I have huge chicken quarters that I have uh, I had in the freezer and I have thawed out. I've got to cut those into, well, like leg and thigh, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, um, I'll be right back. I'm going to attempt to show you how I do these quarters. This is really hard to do with a camera much easier to do without holding the camera against your body. <laughs> Yay! So, we got this. Nice big chicken leg. Okay, so I cut the chicken up and I sprayed it with some olive oil and then put it in the chicken mix and shook it around. I have put, you know, I, since, I, since I'm unsure with the size, because of the size of the chicken things, um, I went ahead and I put them uh, for a certain, th this small amount of time and I'm going to check them. And then, uh, so yeah, here we go. Whee! I know it's going to take longer than that with this, but it's the beginning. Take a little peek and see what it looks like. Still have quite a time to go, but curious. Looking crispy. Here is the first batch. It's very crispy and juicy, and we'll try it out. Let's go for the next batch. And here's the finished product. It's all right. It's all right? Yeah. Is it crunchy enough? It's not crunchy, but it's all right. All right. Well, it's next good. time, is it better than the, um, than the cornmeal was? Yep, much better. Okay, next time we'll try flour. And you know what else? What? And, oh, hey, wait. This is actually crunchy. So this one was actually crunchy, the other side wasn't crunchy. Alright, taste it and we'll see. It's crunchy. You like? I do. Alright. 